Hey, what's up guys? I'm about two months into doing boxing and I'm starting to get the feel of things a little better than um, I was. Like everything just feels like it's coming together even though I'm not at the top level yet, the level that I want to be at anyway. At, but I want to um, now do an analysis on a sparring session. This is just a part of the session, but I think it well illustrates things and I'll make commentary as uh, the video uh, goes. I'm going to film the screen here and here we go. So here I am with my uh, coach Mike and uh, so what I do is lead with jabs generally and I did a body jab there and uh, so it's like jab and then like a uh, low body shot with my left hand. Now I did a combo there uppercut again body uh, rear rear hook there boom there again that one was so solid and I did it again so I'm like working the bottom but as well hitting up top and I think I caught him a bit off guard there now uh, I go back to just some basic things so it's like an uppercut hook combo but not hard but there's there's a good body shot jab I'm learning a peekaboo style jab where you lean into it you lean down and you turn your fist forward so and that's another one which is another peekaboo style that I did which was a uh, which was a uh, body shot jab. I'll just turn this off for a sec. So a body shot jab where you turn your fist this way and you lean down. So I do that to the body, solar plexus, and then I follow through with um, an overhand, uh, essentially straight. And I got, I got, I hit him with that. Now my my coach, even though he he's okay with it, so he says like I don't want to like just dummy him hard in the face because he's not going 100% with me. He's a former professional, him and his brother, professional, high level boxers. If, if he want, he, like if he wanted to, he could dominate me and, and he does, to be honest. He hits me with body shots that are like crippling in, in the sparring matches. But we're not, as you can see, we're not wearing mouth guards or headgear or anything. Like I don't, I don't want to like hit him hard in the face and he doesn't to me. But nonetheless, I, I still look for those openings, and that's what I was doing there. So the one in particular I wanted to, to mention in a reflection of that, of that video was, um, so first I start with um, jabs to close the gap, and then I was following through a few times there with a low body hook, okay? Rear hook. So boom, 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 boom. And I was also doing, also, uppercuts that way and I was also doing jab jab hit this way like a hook so I was doing hook to the face and then hook to the body so jab hook that way I was going jab body this way and then jab uppercut closing the gap and getting in there now there's a point in time where there was a bit of an exchange that happened and uh, what I was doing was with the jab being offensive and defensive at the same time. So when he was striking, I was hitting his punch, okay? And then there was one time where I did that and connected with, again, that body shot. And that was one I think I really got him with. And uh, that's what I'm gonna continue with. Now, the problem with that one is you're, you're leaving this open, like with your rear, if you're hitting the body like this, to a jab or a hook, this this hand, okay, boom, because, so the, po you, you can't see it in this, this uh, particular footage, there's times where I was doing that, and then I, I, I brought it back up, and I actually blocked um, his counters, okay, so, but the thing is, that my intention was to do, was hit him with that, to then open him up, on that side, and the, how the reason why I learned this is I've been playing this video game called Tactic Boxing. It's a new one. It's just been out for a few months, and it's really good. But it's also kind of a cheap one. It's kind of like a like ten or twelve dollars. It's not. It's not like a high production game. But regardless, with keyboard and mouse, you can figure out how to do uh, proper. You know, you can do left hooks. You, you, like whatever you, you can choose what you're doing while you're playing. And you, ha you have to be selective and calculative 
You can't just go in there and start button mashing. You got to be like, you know, doing proper boxing techniques and standards. So in the game, I learned how to do it. Now I'm getting really good at this game. I can win this game, no problem. So then I'm incorporating that into the sparring, and that's where I'm learning how to close the gap with the jabs. You can do crosses with that, but it's like close that and then boom to the body. And then once that happens, you follow through with a few things or jab, 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 boom. Lead hook to the body or lead hook to the face. Jab, 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 uppercut to the face. That's like closing the gap and getting in that sweet spot. That's what I've been learning how to do. And that's what I wanted to show with this video. Now, there's a few other things that I'm also learning that I want to share, which is, so when I, in the first month of learning boxing, it was always learning about keeping your shell and your throwing punches from here, which is a, a good thing to do, like to protect yourself and keep your elbows closed, okay? But what I learned, and maybe this is wrong in some regards, okay? But this is something I'm just reflecting on, is you don't want to always do that. So you want to move your hands to to not for their opponent your opponent to not know what's coming next and things and the other aspect is moving your head now obviously moving your head is a uh, moving target which is hard to hit but that also requires a lot of energy to do so you don't always want to be necessarily doing that that's what I'm reflecting on too but after punches move your head right so it's like you need a jab and then I do slip jab moving my head jab slip jab or jab body shot jab jab like uh, slip slip and then come in or when I'm moving in slip and then come in things like that there's a few times not in this particular video where I was doing slips with my hands up here where I was moving in and things and after a punch doing that and he was missing or he was hitting that now also the other thing is if his hits are coming up you're gonna come up here which is leaving the body exposed there's times where you know I'm doing things like this Move up, down, this type of thing, and then also blocking in the middle. So they're blocked in the middle. And there's a good example this time where he's jab blo blocking these jabs and then like bringing his arm up. So it's like, oh, and then I came down below. I don't know if you heard, watch, rewatch this video. Like there's the one where you're just like, a, you, you can hear it, the solid thump of a body shot which I know he felt, but he, he's good. He, and he, those are the ones he gets me with the most, is our body shots. I uh, got hit with one the other day in the solar plexus by him, and I dropped to the, to the floor. Because I just didn't see it coming. I was, I was like, took my eyes off him for a second. I was so winded. It's after a lot of like jump rope and a lot of uh, bag work and pad work, and I was doing sparring with him. I was just so winded. I took my off from a second and just boom, hit right with the hook, boom, right in the fucking solar plexus. I dropped right to the floor. But then I got up. It wasn't that bad. It was just a shock more than anything. But he's continuing hitting me with uh, body shots. And I see it. It's when I am, because he controls the center of the ring and I move laterally. Normally in my uh, attack, I move laterally to the left with my jabs and then come, come on something. But then sometimes I regroup and move right, but then I bring my arms like this, and I move right, and he, and he hits me with a boom right to the fucking gut. But it sucks. So body shots suck, but I'm learning from that. I'm learning how to control the middle of the ring as well uh, with him too, because I know that's what he's doing. And he's told me, he's literally told me, he's like, uh, how to how to control the ring and cut people off in the corners and whatnot. So, I am doing that, and um, lastly, I'll mention that I just need my endurance to be up a few notches, I noticed. My strength is good. My other, my other boxing coach, which is there, he, he says how I have naturally heavy hands, and um, this guy Mike says I have a bit of like grill arms like him, like my length of my arm. We, we, we're almost the same height, he's maybe a, a half inch shorter than me. But we put our fists to our face, and we can both reach our face. So, of arm length, and that's what he says he's good for. 
is, is, is that length. And I think that's very important in boxing, especially, you know, arm length to size ratio is important. So anyway, that's where I'm, I think I'm going to end this video. Um, but I'm going to work on my lead hooks a little better. Again, that lead, quick lead hook, both up top and down below. And what I'm going to continue doing is the rear hook to the body, as well as rear uppercuts. Jab, jab, straight, jab, uppercut. Things like that, or jab, uppercut. And makes that makes them react to that. I think you, you can do like another one or two punches after that based on how they react in the reaction time, which is good. And uh, as well, you can learn as much theory as you want, but it's not until you start sparring, especially with him who's like a former pro, that you actually get punches thrown back at you by somebody who knows what he's doing. And you gotta be on the reactive as well as the active, which is very important, I think, in boxing training. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.